Hello everyone. For today's lesson, we will learn the reflection and refraction from the Form 4 physics topic, the last topic of the Form 4 physics. Okay, first thing, reflection. When will a reflection occur? The answer is when there is a mirror. This is a plain mirror. Okay, and before we do uh, the explanation part, we need to draw a normal a normal line to the surface of the plane mirror. So when there is a mirror and then we give an incident ray which is directed onto the plane mirror and the angle between the incident ray and the normal line is called as the in angle of incidence. So when the incident ray is directed onto the play mirror, we know that the mirror has a reflecting nature. So when the incident ray is directed onto the play mirror, so it will be reflected. The word reflected means opposite direction. The ray travels from this direction to this direction. So it is reflected. So this ray, we call it as reflected ray. And the angle between the reflected ray and the normal, we call it as the angle of reflection. Based on the law of reflection, there are two conditions. The first condition, the angle of incidence, the angle of reflection, and the normal, which is these three lines, must lie on the same plane, which is this plane. The three lines, they lie on the same plane. And the second condition, the angle of incidence, I, must equals to the angle of reflection, R. So these two angles, they are the same. Next, we move on to refraction. Is refraction? Refraction is the bending or change in the direction of the light. As um, as it enters different mediums. So when you're given one medium and two mediums, there are two mediums, and when the light is directed onto these two mediums, it will reflect it. Okay? So when there, why is there a bending or a change in direction of light? So the condition for this is when there is a change in velocity of the light. So when the medium is denser, the velocity will be low. Whereas when the medium is less dense, 
the velocity will be high. So let's show the drawings of refracted ray. So first thing, we need to have two different mediums, two different mediums, the denser medium and the less dense medium, in order to have refraction. So we draw a piece of glass. This is the air, which is less dense. And this part is the glass, which is denser. So same thing, we need to draw the normal line to the surface before we draw the rays. Okay, so first draw a normal here and then we give a we give the incident ray. So this is the incident ray. So same thing, the angle between the incident ray and the normal line, we call it as, yes, the angle of incidence. Okay, so during reflection, the incident ray did not pass through the mirror. It reflected towards outside. But for refraction, the path of the ray continues inside the medium, but it is a change in direction or we call it as a bending. So, how do we know? How does the ray bend? So, there are the law. There is a law when the velocity of the light is slow, it, the light bends towards normal. And the second condition, vice versa, when the velocity of the light is high, the light bends away from normal. So, what does it mean when we say velocity is low? Which means it moves from a low dense into a denser. So, the light traveling in a denser medium has a low velocity. So, let's compare. Less dense, the air. Denser is the glass. So, Glass, as we move in into glass, the velocity decreases as the medium is denser. So, when the velocity decreases, it bends towards the normal line. So, this is no normal line and initially it should follow the original pathway, but we say it bends towards the normal line. So, it bends towards the normal line. Can, you can see, this is the original pathway, but it bends towards the original line, which is this one. So we call it as refracted ray. And the angle between the refracted ray and the normal line, we call it as R, angle of refraction. Okay. Reflection, we call it as reflected ray, and the angle we call it as angle of reflection. But for refraction, the ray we call it as refracted ray, but for the angle we call it as angle of refraction. So let's continue the pathway of the light. So when the refracted ray reaches the, the other end of the glass. So it moves from a low dense into the air, the less dense medium, once again. So we need to draw another normal line here. The reflected, the refracted ray will now become your incident ray for this part, this section. So what will happen when it passes through this line from a denser medium into a less dense medium. So we know that into the less dense medium, the velocity will be higher. So when the velocity is higher, 
it bends away from normal. So, the original pathway should be like this. But it bends away from the normal, so the light refracted in this way. So, this is, we call it as, emergent ray. Where it, it emerged from the medium. So, this angle is the other angle of refraction, and this angle is the second angle of incidence. So this is how the light passes through from a less dense medium to a denser medium and again into the less dense medium. So we have the law of refraction. So now we should have a law of refraction. So first one, the incident ray, the refracted ray are in the opposite side of the normal line ray and it's on the left side of the normal line so this is the refracted ray and it is on the right side of the normal line so this conclusion is valid and all of the three lines the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal line the three, all three lines line lie on the same plane of incidence over sine angle of refraction is, is a constant. So this value, no matter how it changes, this value will always be a constant. So that's all for reflection and refraction. So um, thank you for watching.